Hi, and a good day to all students. Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to our today's session. Uh, today, what uh, we will learn about uh, hardness testing, one of the most important testing in uh, determination of uh, material uh, properties. So what does it mean by a hardness? Uh, hardness is a property of material that uh, enables it to resist plastic deformation, uh, penetration, detection, and scratching. And that is the reason why hardness is very important uh, from a material science uh, standpoint, uh, because uh, resistance by uh, resistance to whereby uh, either friction or uh, erosion by steam, uh, oil, and water uh, generally increase uh, with a hardness. So hardness is a characteristic of material, uh, not a fundamental uh, physical uh, property. And uh, it is defined uh, as the resistance to uh, indentation, uh, and it is determined by uh, measuring the permanent depth uh, of uh, indentation. Or we can simply say that when uh, using a fixed force or loading and a given indenter, the smaller the indentation, uh, the harder the material. The indentation hardness value is obtained by uh, measuring the depth or the area of indentation using one one of the over uh, 12 uh, different uh, test methods uh, available. So as we can read here, uh, a large uh, hardness means uh, resistant to plastic deformation or cracking uh, in compression and a better wear uh, properties. So uh, the hardness of material is quite complex property and uh, depend on the grain size, uh, yield strength, uh, tensile strength, uh, ductility, resistance to abrasion, uh, and many more. And uh, as we can see in the scale here, we have uh, an increasing hardness of different types of materials. Uh, most plastic uh, considered to have a low hardness and we have the material here, the diamond, that it has the highest uh, hardness among other, other materials. So here we have uh, examples of uh, different types of uh, hardness testers. Uh, hardness testing machine uh, perform uh, three common uh, kinds of uh, scientific hardness testing. Uh, we have a brinal hardness testing, we have a brinal, and uh, we have uh, a rockwell and uh, we also have a uh, weakest uh, hardness uh, testing. Um, among these three types of testing, the Rockwell hardness test is the most widely used technique because uh, it is easy to carry out and more precise than other kinds of evaluation. Uh, Renal hardness testing is uh, typically used to evaluate materials that are too coarse, too coarse, coarse materials, or that have an uh, exterior that is too rough uh, for other types of uh, other test techniques. Uh, we will talk more about uh, these three different types of uh, hardness testing, uh, differences, uh, the differences between uh, these uh, different types of testing and so on later. A hardness testing is an extensively used uh, form of material testing. Uh, it is a comparatively uh, quite uh, easy to perform, uh, easy to understand, and uh, typ typically completely or uh, quite minimal, uh, or we can say it is uh, non-destructive. And uh, also most of the instrumentation uh, is uh, relatively cheap uh, when compared to other types of uh, material uh, verification uh, equipment. Uh, furthermore, it can uh, typically be carried out directly uh, on the component without uh, major alteration. And here are some uh, application of a hardness uh, testing uh, in terms of a material characteristic. Uh, we can use a hardness testing to test, uh, test to check the material, uh, test the hardenability, uh, test to conform, confirm process, and also can be used to predict uh, the tensile uh, strength. And uh, in terms of the functionality of the materials, uh, we can apply a hardness testing uh, to test, to confirm the ability to function as designed, uh, can also use to uh, determine the wear resistance, uh, to study the toughness, and also the resistance to uh, impact.
Um, the application of hardness uh, testing uh, will enable us to evaluate the material uh, properties such as strength, uh, ductility, and wear resistance. And uh, so it helps us to determine uh, whether a material or the material treatment uh, is suitable uh, for the purpose uh, that uh, required by the application. Um, the definition of hardness testing is a test to determine a resistance uh, material exhibit to a permanent deformation by uh, penetration of another harder material. Uh, however, hardness is uh, not a fundamental property of material, material like what I have uh, mentioned before. And therefore, when uh, we want to draw a conclusion uh, out of a hardness testing, uh, we should always evaluate uh, the, the quantitative uh, value in relation to the given load uh, of the indenter. A specific loading time profile and a specific uh, load duration. And also uh, a specific uh, indented geometry. Okay, sorry for uh, my uh, handwriting here. I hope you can uh, understand it. And so, uh, therefore, uh, when we want to draw uh, a conclusion of a hardness testing, uh, we should always evaluate uh, the quantitative value in relation to the given the given load uh, of uh, indenter, uh, specific a specific uh, loading time profile, uh, and a specific uh, load duration, and uh, finally a uh, specific uh, indenter uh, geometry. And here we have uh, a different types of uh, hardness uh, testing uh, technique. And uh, the most uh, commonly used and basic definition is the resistance of material to a permanent a plastic uh, deformation. Uh, hardness testing is uh, measured by uh, loading and indented to a specified uh, geometry and properties. The hardness testing, uh, we measured it by uh, loading and indenter. Indenter, this is a uh, and examples of uh, indenter for different types of uh, hardness testing. So uh, we, load, we load an indenter of a specified a geometry, like what we can see here, we have a different types of uh, shape of indentation for a particular type of uh, testing. Uh, we, we use that indenter uh, onto the material for a definite length of time and uh, measuring either the depth of uh, penetration or a dimension of the resulting uh, impression or uh, indentation resulting impression or uh, indentation and uh, the depth of penetration or uh, indent a dimension become uh, larger as the materials uh, uh, being tasted is softer and a common hardness testing varieties include a uh, rock well, like we can see, like what we can see in the table here. Yeah, this is the, the most frequently used uh, method uh, due, to, uh, due to its ability to produce a quick result and is uh, usually uh, used on alloys and metals. And uh, we have a noob and a weakness testing. We have a noob and weakness testing. Uh, that is uh, more ideal for a coating, uh, thin materials, and a mounted uh, metallographic uh, component. And uh, finally, we have uh, a vinyl uh, testing uh, vinyl uh, testing technique uh, that we can apply for a large uh, steel framework, uh, cast iron, and uh, aluminium. Okay, now we move on to uh, the Vickers uh, hardness uh, testing method.
Uh, the biggest uh, hardness test method, also uh, referred to as a micro hardness testing method. Micro hardness uh, test, test method is uh, mostly used for a small part, a thin section, or a case uh, depth work. And this method is based on the optical uh, measurement system, uh, the micro hardness test procedure, uh, like what uh, we have in uh, SDAIM. American Standard Testing, American Society of Testing Material, uh, E384, that uh, specifies a, a range of uh, light loads uh, using a diamond uh, indenter, like what we have in the figure here, to make an uh, indentation which is measured and converted to a hardness uh, value. It is very useful uh, for uh, testing a uh, uh, wide type of materials, but the the samples must be uh, highly polished and to enable the measuring the size of the impression or indentation. And uh, a square based uh, pyramid shaped diamond yeah, uh, is used for uh, testing in a vicus uh, scale. And typically, loads are uh, very light, ranging from uh, 10 gram to a uh, 1 kilogram force. 10 gram to uh, one gram force, although uh, micro vicus loads can uh, range up to uh, 30 uh, kilogram or more. Uh, so the micro hardness methods are uh, used uh, to test on metals, uh, ceramic, uh, composites, uh, almost uh, any type of uh, material. And since the uh, indentation is uh, very small in a uh, vicus testing, this, uh, this is the examples of uh, materials uh, during a uh, vicus hardness testing. Uh, it is uh, useful for a variety of uh, application, uh, especially when we want to test very thin materials like foils foils uh, or uh, measuring the surface of a part, uh, small parts or uh, small areas uh, when we want to measure uh, individual uh, microstructure or uh, measuring the depth of uh, case hardening by uh, sectioning a part and making a series of indentation to describe uh, a profile of the change in the hardness. Uh, the force F Okay, the, the force uh, F uh, is taken uh, and the diagonal, uh, like what we can see uh, in the figure here, the diagonal uh, of the impression or indentation I measured. Uh, this is the, the real picture uh, of a diagonal of, a, of a impression or indentation uh, taken by a microscope. And uh, the mean of uh, these two values, D, uh, is used to uh, determine the hardness HV of uh, the material. And this is the uh, this is the equation that we use to determine the weakest hardness uh, number of uh, material. Okay. F uh, refers to a force that we apply during the testing, and D is the uh, length of the diagonal of the impression or uh, indentation, and theta equals to one hundred and thirty-six uh, degree. Now we move on to uh, Rockwell uh, hardness testing. Uh, the Rockwell test uh, determines the hardness by measuring the depth of a penetration uh, of an indenter under a large load compared to the penetration made by a free load, uh, as defined in uh, STM E18. Uh, uh, this is the most uh, commonly used uh, hardness uh, test method. Uh, it is a generally uh, Easy to perform, uh, more accurate than uh, other types of hardness uh, testing method. Uh, it measures the permanent depth uh, of an indentation produced by uh, the force or load on an indenter. Uh, Rockwell test is designed uh, as a method of hardness testing for a rapid uh, comparative analysis between uh, different types of uh, materials or, or samples. And uh, the depth of impression 
or indentation that uh, measured and uh, rated on a dial calibrated inversely into a 100 division, uh, a deep impression uh, will result in a low value, uh, which uh, implies a soft material. And uh, a hardened steel ball in the end I use uh, with a diameter of 1 over 16 inch, 1 over 8 inch, uh, 1 over 4 inch and half inch, and uh, standard indenting loads are 60 kilogram. Uh, 100 and uh, 150 kilogram and here we have a uh, illustration of our test methods for a uh, hardness uh, first uh, preliminary test force uh, commonly referred to as the preload or a minor loading is applied to a sample using a diamond or ball in data this preload breaks to the surface to reduce the effect of a surface finish. And after holding, uh, the preliminary test force uh, for a specified at well time. Uh, the baseline that of the, the uh, indentation uh, is measured, like what we can see uh, in the figure here. And after the preload, uh, an additional loading I call the major load uh, is added to which uh, the total uh, required uh, test loading. Uh, this force is held uh, for a uh, specific time, a predetermined amount of time uh, or dwell time like what I have uh, mentioned before uh, to allow uh, for elastic uh, recovery. And this major load is then released uh, returning to the preliminary loading and after holding the uh, preliminary test force for a specified dual time, uh, the final uh, depth of uh, indentation is measured and the Rockwell hardness value is derived from the uh, difference in the baseline uh, and the uh, final depth uh, measurement. Like what we can see in the figure here, D, uh, refers to the distance uh, measurement taken uh, representing a difference between a preload and a major load position and this distance uh, is the value that we use to uh, calculate uh, the Rockwell uh, hardness number. When uh, we want to select uh, a Rockwell scale, uh, a general guide is to select the scale that uh, specifies the largest load and the largest indent possible. without uh, exceeding defined uh, of operating condition without exceed defined and uh, this condition uh, include as uh, specimens that are below uh, the minimum thickness uh, for a depth uh, of indentation uh, a test impression that falls too close to the edge of a specimen for another impression or indentation uh, or a testing on a, a cylindrical uh, specimen cylindrical specimen like this and uh, in addition to that uh, the test uh, axis uh, should be uh, within uh, two degrees of a perpendicular to ensure a precise loading and there should be no uh, deflection uh, of a uh, There should be a uh, no deflection of a test sample or a test during the loading application uh, from a condition such as dirt under the testing uh, specimen or on the elevating screw. And uh, it is also quite important to keep the surface uh, finished clean and uh, decarburization from a uh, heat treatment uh, should be removed uh, to ensure that uh, the, the value of a hardness that we get is uh, precise. Okay, now we move on to the Brinnell uh, hardness uh, testing. Uh, the Brinnell hardness uh, test method, uh, as used to determine the Brinnell hardness, uh, is defined uh, in the STM uh, E10. 
yeah and uh it is uh, most commonly used to uh, test materials that have a structure that is too coarse or that have a surface that is too rough uh, to be tested uh, using uh, other test method uh, for example uh, dusting and uh, forging um, uh, brittle testing often use a uh, very high at uh, test loading equals to a 3000 kilogram force and a 10 millimeter diameter indenter so that uh, the resulting uh, indentation averages out most uh, surface and uh, sub surface uh, inconsistencies So, uh, in the middle hardness testing, a hard steel sphere, like what we can see here, uh, usually a 10 millimeters in a diameter is forced into the surface of the materials. Uh, the diameter of uh, the impression or indentation here, uh, typically uh, it ranging from two to six millimeters is measured and the brittle hardness number uh, abbreviated as HB or BHN. HB or a B, uh, HN, with no hardness number, uh, is uh, calculated uh, from the uh, following uh, equation. Yeah, we have a 2F uh, divided by pi D times D minus D to the power of 2 minus D sub i to the power of the square root where f is the force uh, in newton and uh, d is a uh, indenter diameter in millimeter and a uh, small d or d sub i equals to uh, indentation uh, diameter in a uh, millimeter And uh, the Brunel hardness uh, has the uh, unit of a kilogram over millimeter squared. This is the unit of a So uh, we have uh, many many types of a technique to uh, determine the hardness of material. We have uh, Vickers, uh, Brinell, uh, Rockwell, and we also have uh, other methods that we we don't uh, include in our discussion here, such as Mayer, Mayer and uh, Leap testing. Uh, although it is uh, quite possible in uh, many cases to give an uh, exact conversion. Uh, it is uh, possible to give an uh, approximate uh, material specific uh, comparison uh, table for uh, materials such as steel. So here uh, we can uh, use the scale. This is the scale that we can use to convert the value that we get from uh, one type of uh, testing to another type of uh, testing. This is uh, from uh, STM E140, uh, a standard hardness conversion tables for uh, metals relationship among Brunel hardness, Vickers hardness, uh, Rockwell hardness, as uh, superficial hardness, loop hardness, and scleroscope hardness. And uh, we can use this uh, scale to convert a value that we get from uh, one type of testing to uh, another type of uh, task testing. And uh, it's good to know that uh, hardness uh, numbers are used uh, primarily as a qualitative basis uh, for comparison of materials. Uh, specifications uh, for uh, manufacturing and uh, heat treatment, uh, quality control, and correlation with uh, other properties of material. And uh, both hardness and tensile strength are indicators of a metal's uh, resistance to a plastic deformation. Uh, for example, uh, for materials such as cast iron, steel, and brass, uh, the two are roughly uh, proportional. Uh, uh, for example, we have a brittle hardness. Uh, it, it is related to the tensile strength of steel by uh, approximation. 
in the equation here, the tensile strength in PSI equals to 500 times uh, brinal hardness. This is the equation. If we want to approximately uh, correlate between a hardness uh, and a tensile strength of material. But uh, we have to remember that the relationship between the hardness and strength uh, definitely, definitely prime, uh, depend on the uh, microstructure microstructure of uh, the material. Uh, the nature of uh, this uh, microstructure dependence is uh, usually explained uh, to a different uh, work hardening characteristic of materials uh, with a different uh, grain structure. Texture also plays uh, a very important uh, role here. So uh, we need to know that uh, what a tensile strength and hardness uh, signifies uh, physically what are differences between uh, these two. Uh, and if you still uh, remember from uh, our previous lecture, uh, the tensile strength, uh, it gives us the material bulk property like toughness, or in other words, the resistance uh, of a material to a breaking uh, under tension. And uh, for hardness testing, it gives us the material uh, surface uh, property. Uh, like a scratch resistance or uh, in other words, a resistance to uh, indentation. So that's it all about the fundamental of uh, a hardness testing. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh.